Meanwhile, the Russian military leadership has reportedly ordered its soldiers who are fighting in Ukraine, believe it or not, to be clean-shaven. And this diktat is said to be one of the new rules that's been implemented to allegedly improve discipline in the army. However, it's been met with derision from the Chechen and also the Wagner mercenary group leaders. General Valery Gerasimov is Russia's chief of the general staff and the newly appointed commander in Ukraine. And he's reportedly been trying to clamp down on non-regulation uniform. Soldiers traveling in civilian vehicles, the use of mobile phones and tablets and also non-standard haircuts and facial hair. However, Ramzan Kadyrov, the leader of the Chechen Republic within Russia, remember the Chechen soldiers happen to be one of the key aspects of the Russian war machine which is fighting in Ukraine, has denounced the facial hair restriction as nothing short of a provocation. He said that his mostly Muslim soldiers wear their beards as part of their religious duty. And on his Telegram channel he said, and I quote Ramzan Kadyrov here, Let's just down our firearms and go have our beards shaved. What sort of an absurd demand is this? Meanwhile, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the leader of the Wagner mercenary group, has also slammed the new rules. He's called the clean-shaven rule as absurd and has said that war is not the time to sit down and shave yourself. Be active and be brave is what Prigozhin has had to say. Now both Kadyrov's and Chechen forces and Prigozhin's mercenaries have operated largely autonomously of the Russian high command. Off late, they've been very vocal in their criticism of the Russian military leadership. This is after the setbacks that the army has suffered in Ukraine since last September. In their latest intelligence update on Ukraine, the British Ministry of Defense has said that Gerasimov and the Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu are increasingly being seen as out of touch with the ground reality. The Gerasimov's order banning mobile phones has been criticized by the Wagner Group, but reports say that this is, of course, necessary to prevent casualties on the battlefield. The ban comes after the Ukrainian attack at Makivka that led to an at least death of 89 soldiers who were killed because the Ukrainians claimed that they could track these soldiers by the use of their mobile phones. Moscow, of course, blamed the cell phones that they were, used, that they were using, which gave away their coordinates. Reports also say that the beard diktat could be a way of testing their soldiers, that checking if the soldiers follow orders and shave is a way of ascertaining whether they would even follow some more riskier orders. This, of course, at this point of time, is conjecture of what the Western media thinks is happening on the battleground. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.